Hey everyone, it's uh, the crazy YouTuber Matt here. Um, uh, I guess I'm doing a vlog on um, X Split. I don't know why, but um, but I made a vlog for yesterday, but I think I'm not gonna upload that. I don't know, but um, so you see the room that I'm in. Yeah, I had to sleep in here because what happened was, and it's one of the reasons why I couldn't make any more videos yesterday, um, the power in my room and this side of the office um, stopped working. Uh, it is 9.48 in the morning, so yeah. But, uh... And I'm using my dad's headsets, headset because I'm not in the mood to use mine. Um, but uh, but I wake up now. So you see that right there? You see that? That is a blow-up mattress. I had to sleep on that. Now, to be honest, it was more comfortable than my bed. And my bed is comfortable. Ish. But, um... But yeah, so I just... Uh, I woke up earlier. I just... Well, technically, I just woke up. And I was going to eat breakfast, but I went downstairs and my cats were in the, and both of my cats were in the living room, and when they're both in the living room, and there's noises coming from the back, you know they get the hell back upstairs. Basically, if you don't know what I mean, I mean my parents were begging each other, okay? I know, disgusting, but hey. <sighs> That's the... Um, Telling, that's basically them telling me that they're still in a healthy relationship. Like, yeah, I get it. You love each other. That doesn't mean you need to... Uh, you know what? Never mind. I mean, that, it's not important. All I know is... All that's important is I went downstairs to eat something and basically said, not right now. And I'm like, it's breakfast. Either now or never. But, um, yeah. But basically, I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. I'm still pissed off at the fact that my parents told me that I needed to get out of bed, well, out of that be mattress, just so that way they can check up, check up here, right there. To make sure that there was any burning critters. And if there were any burning critters, it would smell like burning meat. And I know what burning meat smells like. So there was nothing going upstairs. They just wanted to double check, but first I was gonna sleep on the couch downstairs, but then my parent but then my dad flipped on the lights and he just sat there while I'm just looking well, glaring at him, being like, excuse me. I'm trying to fucking sleep. Alright? Can you do this somewhere else? And then I go upstairs. Dad blows up the mattress for me. And... And I'm not... I'm like in the bed not longer than 10 minutes. And then my mom just tells me that I need to get out of bed just so that way they can check for burning critters in the fucking attic. So I'm like, there's no burning critters up there, okay? Well, we just want to make sure. No, there's no, I can make sure. I can tell you. There's no burning critters, okay? Because I would smell it. Uh, yeah. And, and I was so angry and my mom's way of telling me to calm down is oh get over yourself 
You know, next time she says that to me, I'm just gonna be like, I would, but it's physically impossible to do that. No, because last, last time she said that to me, I was like, no, you get over yourself. And it was because I was trying to make a point, and she didn't want to be wrong. So, yeah. Um... This vlog is just gonna be about me messing with my hair. But like I said, I just woke up, so I'm not looking perfect. And I'm pissed off. So yeah, I'm surprised I'm not making that serious video that I wanted to make about what's going on between me and my mother and my gender identity. You know what? How about I just address it now? Alright? So, you know I came out on here as transgender when I came back, right? F FTM? Yeah. Well, when I tried, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I tried to come out to my parents, mostly my mother, because after, um, well, when I tried to come out, they laughed, and, but whenever I talked to my mom about this, she said, we were laughing. I'm like, bullshit, I was there, you were laughing, okay? They laughed in my face, and then they told me what I was and what I wasn't. They said, you're not, you're not transgender, you're a female, and you've always been a female. If you were transgendered, you wouldn't be a full-on girly girl when you were a kid. Now, let me confess something. Okay, let me conven confess something to you. Yes, I was a freaking girly girl when I was a little kid. Yes, I did play with Barbies, and yes, I did dress up. But while I was doing that, I didn't feel comfortable doing it, okay? But I did it anyway. It was because I thought it would please my parents. And apparently, and what it looked like, it looked like it did. But I knew, I knew I wasn't, I knew I was different. And, and I knew I didn't feel right. So, yeah. And I try and I try telling my mom this, and she's like, "No, no, I just don't, I just don't see it in you." And I'm like, and just every time, every time we get get into an argument about my gender identity, it pisses me the fuck off that she doesn't fucking understand. Okay. And you know when teenagers say, oh, my parents don't understand me. Yeah, when I say it, I mean it, okay? Because definitely, my mom definitely doesn't understand. She thinks that every single transgender person is all the same, okay? They show it when they're, ki when they're little kids, or they know that they're transgender when they're a little kid. Bitch! When they're a little kid, they don't know what transgender is or what it means, okay? So yeah, and I found and I realized I was transgender when I was 15. But I decided to come out to everyone when I came into ninth grade. Well, in the middle of ninth grade, because that, w cause that was when I was perfectly sure with myself that I wanted to come out to everyone. Well, except for my grandparents, because I don't know how they would react. And I'm definitely not telling my grandfather. I'm just gonna have to deal with him calling me a little girl and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. And when I had a conversation about how mom doesn't respect my gender identity or why I keep on having to argue with her about it, and she was like she was like that does that that's not me not that's not me not listening. That's me not agreeing with your bullshit. Yeah, that's what she called it. She called it bullshit. Yeah. Just because she doesn't agree with it. Yeah. Her problem is she wanted a freaking daughter. Well, she got one physically. Didn't get one mentally. So, uh, so yeah. So, yeah. That's what I'm dealing with. And... Well, I had my therapist talk to them. My dad... 
He's a little bit more understanding, but he still refers to me as a female. And he told me, well, he picked me up um, after school at my bus stop. He said, I don't care what you do as long as you're happy. And I respect him for that. All right, I love him for saying that. Mom, on the other hand, when we were talking about it, she was like, you're still my daughter. You're still physically a female. So I'm still going to call you Maddie. And I'm still going to... Call, and I'm still gonna refer to you as a female and I'm like I was I was about to snap I was like uh 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 no no you no you respect my gender identity okay you respect it you not refer to me to what you want to refer to me you refer to me to what I want you to refer to me okay it's called respecting your child and you should always do that okay it's like with everyone. It's like everyone else. It doesn't have to be... It like When you're in a family, it's different. No, when you're with your family, it's not different from everyone else, okay? You still have to earn respect, okay? It doesn't matter if they're your parents or if it's your child or shit. You don't treat them differently, okay? You still have to earn the respect, okay? And that doesn't change when you're in a family, okay? So, yeah. I don't care what my parents think. They might think otherwise. Well, not might. They do think otherwise. But there's a reason why me and mom always have more fights than me and my father. It's because... She lost my respect. And it wasn't after the I came out as transgender. No, that got worse. The loss of respect got worse. Now I have no respect. I used to have a little bit of respect for her. But now I don't. Because she doesn't... Basically what she told me... What she made out to me in a nutshell was she doesn't... She doesn't support... She doesn't... um. Yeah, she doesn't support me being transgender because she wanted a daughter. And whenever she doesn't get anything she wants, she'll try everything she can to fight for it. And it pisses me off. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, for those of my new viewers and my new subscribers who don't know me personally, yeah. I am a bisexual man stuck in a girl's body. And I hate it. Every single day, I hate it. Okay? I hate coming out of the shower and looking at the body that I'm stuck in. Alright? I hate being mistaken just because of how I look. I despise it. I hate every day being called Maddie and being referred to as a female by my own freaking parents. Alright? every single day I hate that it drives me crazy my parents might think it's a phase but really really I can't understand the sexuality thing but when it comes to the whole gender identity that's bullshit Fucking hell, I'm 17 the thing that most pisses me off is the fact that is the fact that the only people who support me being transgender are my friends. And that's it. It's just my friends. And my parents are supposed to be supportive no matter what. Not supposed to be telling me who I am and who I'm not. And they're supposed to be there for me. When I'm going through this, okay? I need my parents, especially my mother, to help me get through this. And what do they do? They don't respect it. But that's okay. That's okay. That's just how life is for me. And for other trans transgendered people who are going through the same problem. Alright. So yeah. 
So I thought I thought I'd just address this and tell you what I'm dealing with. And to make it clear to you that I am transgendered. Alright. And no matter what I do, it doesn't make me less transgender. So yeah. So this is the crazy YouTuber sign out. And all of you guys, just keep being crazy. And don't let anyone tell you who you are. Because only you can tell you who you are. No one else. Not even your flipping parents. Alright. Bye.